Cats like to explore. So if your cat ever finds a tunnel through the center of the earth, you can bet she'll jump in. So here's what to expect. A tunnel is a hole without a bottom. Your cat will fall at increasing speed toward the center and then will continue to fall upward. Eventually she'll reach the other side of the planet, but when? Next time this happens, be ready with a catnip mouse. As soon as your cat jumps into the hole, fling the toy mouse into a low orbit around the Earth. If your aim is good and there's no air resistance that day, cat and mouse should meet at the same instant at the other end of the tunnel. As Douglas Adams wrote in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, there is an art to flying, or rather a knack. The knack lies in learning how to throw yourself at the ground and miss. Clearly it is this second part, the missing, that prevents the difficulties. So flying is falling and missing the ground. The moon is always falling toward the earth and vice versa. They both just keep sidestepping each other. Once you release the toy mouse, a single force draws it toward the center of the earth. How long does the mouse take to fall from north to south? Its centripetal acceleration must match gravitational acceleration. Taking the radius of the earth to be 6400 kilometers, we can find the mouse's orbital velocity. But before we start to plug in numbers, remember it is the period we're after. The path is along the circumference. The one-half subscripts indicate we are looking at the time to orbit the Earth halfway. It works out to 42 minutes. The mass of the mouse doesn't matter whether it be one gram or one kilogram, so don't be afraid to stuff it full of catnip. Here is a clever cheat to work out the cat's motion. Her north-south motion through the Earth is the same as the north-south motion of the mouse in orbit. She will arrive at the south pole just in time to snatch the mouse. If she wishes, she can continue to bob north and south through the earth like a weight on a spring. What if we dig a shorter tunnel with the same exit? Drop the mouse into that hole at the same instant that the cat enters the longer tunnel. Which of them gets to the exit first? We are assuming throughout that the Earth is a homogeneous entity. Furthermore, we are treating as negligible any friction between the mouse and the side of the tunnel. And finally, for the purposes of this thought experiment, we disregard many cats' natural aversion toward molten rock. Remember, this is a thought experiment. We must treat our cats as the deities which they are. And I'm talking to you, Schrodinger. We've lost our cheat. We could time an orbit counterclockwise uh, around the Earth from the entrance point to the exit point, but the trip back to the entrance would be longer. I find this lack of symmetry disturbing. Let's compare two parallel paths through the Earth. The acceleration vectors of both cat and mouse are equal in magnitude. They both point toward the center of the Earth. However, only the cat will experience the full effect of acceleration due to gravity. The mouse will experience a lesser effective acceleration. Only the north component of the vector will affect rodential motion. That component will be the full acceleration g modified by some factor, which we could calculate, but we don't need to. Whatever the factor is, the length of the tunnel will have been modified by the same amount. Suppose we label that factor with the Greek letter phi. Then here is our period. The periods of oscillation will be the same for both cat and mouse. This will be true for any tunnel of any length cut through the earth. Measured in minutes, the answer will always be 42. Continue with the joy, and we'll see you next time.